वेलकम लेट्स डिस्कस सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम द नेट पेपर फॉर ज्योग्राफी एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन एंड हियर वी हैव द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट टॉक्ड अबाउट द रास्टर डेटा मॉडल वर्सेस द वेक्टर डेटा मॉडल सो एज वी ऑल नो इन द वेक्टर देयर इज अ लाइन सो दैट द आईडिया इज देयर इज अ लाइन इफ यू स्ट्रेच इट इट वुड रिमेन अ लाइन बट रास्टर इमेजेस आर पिक्सेल बाय पिक्सेल इमेजेस सो यू इफ यू एनलार्ज इट इफ यू स्ट्रेच इट यू वुड सी इंडिविजुअल पिक्सेल्स व्हिच वुड बी विजिबल सो Raster data model is a simple data structure. That's for sure. You just have color combinations which are used. All the pixels are of same size and shape. Again, correct. So each of the pixel are uniform, right? They are in the size and the shape. They are same, but when it comes to color, they are different. The file size would be bigger since it's a A raster image for vector the relative size would be smaller raster data is compatible with remote sensing uh, imagery is perfect uh, so these three are the correct option and it do not have difficult overlay operations no because overlay operations are made simple using raster because you can identify set, certain segments and when you identify segments you can overlap okay this is the this is the agricultural land this is the forest area this is the uh, this is the industries which would be seen on the uh, forest area so we do overlap easily with the help of raster data so uh, raster and vector and the details on the raster and the vector models we have covered extensively in the book on gis and cartography uh, which is part of the postal material so refer that carefully now here the terrestrial ecosystem uh, the pyramid of biomass is upright with a broad base that's perfect because in grassland you would have large number of grasses and very few animals in the category of lions or cheetahs again the biomass increases from primary to tertiary consumer definitely the biomass of cheetah or a lion would be much higher than the biomass of the grass so you have reason as the correct explanation for assertion and both of them obviously are independently correct so both of them are correct and reason explains the assertion correctly the next question here is you have to match the mineral resources with the types of mines that are present for example manganese is found where manganese is found in chindwara and balaghat you have copper deposits it's in malkhanj and dungarpur so again copper deposits here bauxite which is aluminium is found in udaygiri uh, and bolangiri and these are the regions of chatisgarh and odisha where you have lots of aluminium and bauxite coal is found in karanpur block so north karanpur and jilmili is the regions for coal direct question from geography of india but definitely there are two two options one benefit is even if you know one which is a correct match you would be able to identify the other one which matches with it correctly the other important thing is if you know both and you know only two of them you are sure with the choices so either ways you have to be um, in depth with your content so prepare well study well the next is a very basic question based more on uh, mendel reasoning rather than the concepts i would say so the chronological order in which tourism developed definitely if i am doing tourism i need to travel from one place to another so advent of wheel would be the first thing so this becomes the first and the foremost thing then is the end of world war 2 usage of jet plane now jet plane came very late so uh, definitely this was after the world war 2 so after the world war 2 we would see the use of jet plane so d would be only after b now thomas cook arranged the first package tour between leicester to long row in uk so that was after the wheels were invented and after that we had the end of world war 2 followed by the jet planes so the order would be a c b and d so the correct order would be a c b and d now tourism is a very important topic tourism geography is a topic which has been recently asked for your examination we have covered tourism geography in the study material poster course uh in around 5 or 7 pages including the theories of tourism which are extremely important and predictable for your next examination based on this the next is the proper sequence of rich from south to north now don't go through this i'll just take you to the diagram first so here you have the uh, kelugurin gorsberg plateau followed by uh, paul and stedham chagos scrota chagos and lakadeep chagos so here is the order that you can follow now if i come back again from south to north okay so southmost is the kernlin 
So Tagos is not a southmost, so I can remove these two options. Now since in the choices, it's not one option which is correct. So A and B becomes the only option which is correct. So 3 would be your answer. But if we check back, after the Carlin Gosberg, it is Tagos St. Paul. So after the Carlin Gosberg, it is Chagos St. Paul, followed by Sorta Chagos and Lakhadiv Chagos. So Lakhadiv Chagos and Skoda Chagos. So the order is 1, 2, and in the other one, it is Skoda Chagos, and in another one, it is Lakhadiv Chagos. So it just bifurcates in the uh, in the form here, right? So that's that's how uh, you can say that it's Skorta Chagos and Lakhadi Chagos and then after the Skorta Chagos further north is the Andaman Ridge. So these two become the correct sequence from south to north. So as we can see Skorta is little south and then you have Lakhadi towards the uh, Lak uh, Lakshadeep Chagos range and then Andaman further north. So that's how we uh, move from 1, 2, 3 and 4 which is the Andaman one. So this was another question from your geography section. Again, if you have a good friendship with Atlas, you are able to solve questions like these. But these are extremely scoring problems. And for UGC net paper, this time a lot of students felt that the paper was difficult. But in reality, I would say the paper was actually not difficult. What was important is a in-depth extensive study was required so if you have covered the last past papers past five years papers carefully and covered the study material extensively then there is no chance that any of these questions would go unanswered or uh, would you would not be able to answer those questions so wish you very good luck and below are the links which would be useful for practice material thanks for joining in